Hey guys, NJ here, back with a maneuver breakdown for you, and we are looking at Infinity Flips today. So, if you checked out any of my more recent freestyle videos, you'll notice in a few places um, those kind of backflips that seem to be a little bit gravity defying, um, where I don't seem to lose any altitude. And uh, these are, in fact, they're, they're kind of like small power loops. Um, but if you're doing them uh, with, with a bit more speed, they actually end up looking like flips, but ones where you don't seem to lose any, uh, any altitude. And in fact, if you do the timing right, you can even change altitude, um, both moving up and down. So before we go any further into the breakdown, let's have a look at it up to speed. So the biggest giveaway to what's going on there is listening to what the throttle is doing um, and you can you can see from the sticks in the corner there um, what you're actually doing is more a series of small power loops now if we go back to the beginning of this uh, you can see where the first let me slow this down a little bit um, you can see where the first uh, backflip or, or mini power loop starts off um, we sort of climbing into position to start this so we're probably ascending and starting here roughly at the top of the tree line um, and what you'll notice is I, I'm kind of popping the throttle let me just go back a fraction for you um, popping the throttle as if I'm going into a power loop um, and I have discussed power loops before if you haven't uh, seen one of my earlier videos uh, please go back and, and have a look I do talk about setting up for power loops um, but this is much the same as heading into a power loop. Um, I'm moving with some forward speed, I'm pulling back on the elevator, and I am uh, increasing throttle. Um, and the only difference is here, I don't actually want to keep the power in and turn this into a big power loop. What in fact I'm going to do is, as I'm getting into the just the very base of that climb, I'm kind of using that as, as a way to pop into the uh, up into the air and just immediately back the throttle straight down to zero and initiate what would uh, would would be then a backflip. So it really is a combination of doing standard backflips um, using the uh, pop drop maneuver catch uh, technique again that I've talked about in previous videos and also going uh, as if you were to do a more consistent um, power loop and you, you, it's a real 50-50 of those two techniques so so you should really move into this once you've got a fairly good handle on both of those things so at this point we're, we're treating it more like a backflip we've now dropped the throttle we've kind of used this this first part as a ramp um, to climb from a power loop but in, to, in order to not gain any more altitude and to kind of stay where we are I've backed the throttle off and I'm holding in a nice consistent back elevator uh, or back pitch command uh, to, to initiate that backflip so that will continue round all the way round to inverted and then as we keep going now here uh, as I'm now facing the ground I'm starting to introduce the power smoothly um, part of this is so that we keep our forward momentum and also as we come level to arrest any descent because obviously we're, we'll be losing altitude again. Um, so the throttle as I'm leveling out is about midway. And again, you see how this, I've, I've barely moved um, this input on the right stick. I'm going throughout this whole maneuver, you'll see this right stick more or less staying where, it's, where it is. And I'm just gonna move this right stick to govern the speed of these flips. Obviously, if I want the flips to, to, to move faster, I will pull further back. Um, so as we level out, you can see that smooth ramp of the throttle. And we're now at the point where we're about to repeat that, that kind of ramp. And we've maintained altitude. We're at roughly treetop height going into that second loop. And again, just as I tip past the horizon, drop the throttle again. We don't want to gain too much altitude. Keeping the right stick back input um, exactly the same uh, following it round and this really is about keeping things nice and consistent here to get that consistent output result so same thing as we start to face the ground there's the throttle coming in resting the descent and then adding power and you can see here I've actually gained a little bit of altitude 
One thing I will say to make this a little bit easier is actually have your spotter give you some, some information about how this is going. Um, they can tell you whether you're losing or gaining altitude. Especially useful when you're learning this because the first few times you're, le you're learning it, you're probably going to be dropping and it's very difficult when, you, when, when the horizon's coming and going like that to tell where your altitude is. So having some input, especially being told when to stop doing them so you don't hit the ground because believe me, I've done that quite a few times. Um, will help you learn the muscle memory to get this input nice and smooth so you can do this consistently at the same height. So uh, still going round, again just enough power and then pulling it straight back off so we don't gain any more altitude. And then as we face the ground there's the ramp again and you can see we're heading back to where we were altitude wise at sort of treetop level. Again this really hasn't moved on that right stick, just holding it there the whole way through. So we're popping, drop, round it goes and then in comes the throttle again and you can see the whole time um, this is just about keeping a nice consistent uh, backflip on the right stick if you're mode 2 like me and uh, just working that throttle impulses as you come round towards the ground and this throttle management thing that's the real key to this to staying in one place uh, or rather at one altitude um, and if you wanted to climb you'd pop harder, hit harder off of the ramp at the bottom and you could climb or you could be less aggressive with the throttle to descend while you're doing it. So still going round. At this point, I don't know if there's a very subtle movement there but you'll see if I come back to these last two flips you'll see roughly where the elevator stick is. If you, the pitch stick, if you uh, have a, a closer look here you'll notice that I actually increase the speed of those back flips and it's just coming round next one there we go right so just there I've now pulled back a little harder um, so these next few will be faster now the faster you do this the faster you'll have to be prepared to now pulse the throttle in the right places so the faster you do it the tighter you are in the the uh, flipping axis um, and it gets harder so you know start this nice and slow um, you can almost start with with kind of almost like full power loops just do it slow do it high get used to just holding that consistent um, elevator uh, back pitch input in um, the other thing you can do is maybe do a couple in a row level out and then try that again and each time just try and add a few more before you level out um, you know just use some common sense when learning these and you shouldn't run into any trouble so yeah as, as I said I have pulled further back on the pitch stick and now we're, we're now moving faster in the flip so you just start pulsing faster so that is really kind of it um, if I move over to another example I have here these ones uh, let's bring this up to full speed for you you can see these ones are faster you can see so you can hear more importantly than see uh, how much faster you have to be on the throttle input and that is then all about timing and making sure that you are bringing the throttle in uh, its kind of heaviest point as you come level with the horizon and making sure you back off quickly um, and it's a balance of the throttle input and pulling it out um, that will keep you at the altitude you want to be at so here's a slightly faster set <coughs> Um, the other thing I did there, um, obviously you can take this and, and, and have loads of fun with it and mix it up. Uh, th uh, right at the end of this one um, that I played you earlier, you'll notice at the very end I actually chuck in, uh, I reverse it and, and put in a front flip to finish. Let me just show you that. So yeah, you can really mess around with this and, and have all kinds of fun. Another thing I, I did here was to um, take that maneuver here's, here's just uh, finishing a set here and then spin it round and you could approach this maneuver in the opposite direction so you could turn it into a uh, flying in reverse flight and doing front flips as I said you can you can change this up as much as you want so I'll just show you a quick example of experimenting with that <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
And there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't take this same technique and apply it to rolls. Although, um, as with the flips, if you want it to be very tight on the roll axis, that will require being much faster and more aggressive with the throttle input because you'll have a much shorter window to do it. Um, in order to get this same kind of half power loop effect and to get to be able to do them more slowly, that will have to be more like a barrel roll. Um, and the way to think of that flight path is like looking at the coil of a spring um, and kind of following that round. Um, so it would be a slightly different um, approach, but all the same techniques uh, are involved. So take that, have some fun with it. Let me know how you get on. I hope you enjoy that and I will see you guys in the next one.